right now. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, there we go. Do we want to eat pretzels for a minute or not? Just kick this thing this off. This one. All right, I'll have one more too. Mm -hmm. Bad but good. Mm. All right. Hello. I'm almost done. Hello, love. How are you? Getting steamed. Yeah, well, actually, I just turned mine way down. There we go. I'm just making sure I'm good. Something like that. Um, yeah, this has got to be, but well, this is the best, best day out of the last three, I bet, right? Yeah. Well, it's definitely. just been effing nasty. Mm, yeah. Has it not? Yeah, definitely. The heat index, like 106. Like, it's just been the, the dogs did not want to be out here. No, I didn't want to be out here either. This isn't too bad. No. A couple times I came out and you'd be like, you don't want to go out there. And I, because I was dirty or whatever, right? And I went, I came out and sat for a little bit and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to come in. All right. So if you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, I'm going to hold my right arm up. There are no holes. Check that out. <laughs> that one. Oh, uh, left, left? Yes, there is. Oh, where? There's a hole. Where? Sit down. Follow the seam. It, it, up and down. It followed the same from your is that the same? from your sleep. Anyway, yeah. I don't care because it's not gaping because I can't my, <laughs> I can't touch it really quick. But the shirt definitely is dirty, and I just got done doing. Um, what would you call? Well, you kind of a preener. Okay, stop. Decoy carving, green wing teal. I just did a different head pose, mm -hmm. and I've seen I have pictures of a redhead um, way back in the day. Um, actually, a really nice picture of redhead. He was all puffed up. So, if you if you're familiar with a duck, which I hope most most people are, you would think. <laughs> well, I'm hoping. And he Maybe would get more diverse than you realize. Mm -hmm. Yep. Maybe well, you have like the knitting community and other crafty kind of people. Mm, I am, I think of myself as crafty sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if a duck would take and touch and like basically tuck its head, tuck its bill down, and try to touch its breast where its neck and breast meet, mm -hmm. um, that's I had a really cool picture of a redhead. I've done bluebill that way. I've done scoter that uh, surfs. Now I've done a common, although I haven't cut out. I have lots of stuff cut out. <laughs> you haven't done a common? I kind of feel like I've seen a preener. A preener common? I don't yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe I did. Definitely did surf. Because I have one of them in the paint shop. Maybe there's two. Are you going to crunch? I'll, I'll hear. Well, there. We can't hear you. So crunch away. Oh, it's qu it is silent. But we can't hear you at all. So don't say anything. <laughs> Tell me when you're done. Can we hear you now? Yes. Okay. Anyway. I've done a couple like oh, normal size, which are oversized ducks, um, and the and the Scoterzilla I've done. Evidently, maybe I did do a comp. Uh, you know what? I, you're all, you are right because his head was like turned way out and came back. I do remember that. Okay, so I have done both Scoter and Bluebill. Uh, no redhead, no cans. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying to pull this off for the green wing teal. I, I've done a. There's another 18 teal body sitting there. I've got a bucket of heads cut, and tails are ready to go. The bottom boards are on the uh, on the teal body. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to try to pull off something like that. It may looks good so far. Yeah, I um, you did not see the pictures yet, but so we're the base basically for those who let me try to paint this picture for you. So the the head was one piece because they're little, but. To, to, so I could carve the bill out, I went and cut them in half, not in half straight down like the center line, but on the side line, if you will. Cut them in half. The head. Yeah. Right. Basically, I cut them along the bottom of the bill. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to describe it. Okay. Right? The bottom of the bill. Mm -hmm. So when I put them back together, the this the head piece, the mm -hmm. top half, when I put it on, that the bottom of the bill sits on the sits on, on the, right so the, on i cut on neck. that line right yeah. just so some when i say so, i cut them in half somebody might think like i cut, split it like down there you know yeah, eye like to eye comes apart. yeah so it's yeah. a mirror image right. of each other no, no it's not the case you went down behind the skull yes down following the neck yes 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 um i looked at those clouds over there and i lost my train of thought wow it didn't like take much looks like a bad storm is coming love my mind is so freaking <laughs> scattered right now <laughs> it's august whatever it is and the summer's flown by. All right. So, what I was telling you is, you did not see. The, I just, I just focused, and I've 
brought myself back in. The bottom, the tip of the bill was at the basically the same as the the breast line where the where the head's going to attach to the body. Mm-hmm. So I took and cut. I did a my little thing where I, how I hold my finger, how I hold the pencil with my hand, and I'm able to scribe around something. So maybe like up three eighths of an inch. That maybe if I cut that off the body, the neck part, that then the cork will actually be able. It'll be lower than that. It may actually be a cooler look. Mm. You follow what I'm saying? I think so. So instead of it being like like a super tall print, you know, with a head tucked, mm-hmm. um, it's not going to be as tall. But like the bill would either be like in the middle of the breast or touching the water. I I don't know. But anyway, I did I did a real. Let's see how it sits. Uh, went live. If you can go back, if you're interested in seeing this, uh, I went live on Instagram. Uh, did I? Get- you did. You said Instagram and oh YouTube and, and YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, Facebook. No, I didn't go live. With, maybe I did. I don't know. My goodness, my head's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> I I put it up a couple different places. And then we did a little little video. Well, afterwards. you did a big video. It was twenty minutes. Yes. So there's gonna be a widescreen version mm-hmm. of you came as you came in and and kind of I was already did. The, wanted to get the first one done, just so we had it. I knew my ins and outs of where, where and what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, mm-hmm. um, and the other two, the other two I carved. So, anyway, I'm done that. That's why long winded. That's why I'm I'm in a dirty shirt. Yes, okay. you've been working hard. Well, I don't know about hard, but I've definitely been working. You better been working hard. Well, I've been definitely been working. <laughs> I don't know if, it, if it's some people might not consider it to be hard. Okay. All right, so we tried to do this before a couple days ago. You told me I couldn't pull it off. I told you I could. I didn't say you couldn't pull it off. Well, and just... we and we still may we still may post it up. No, I did not say that. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought as I thought as we were in the midst of bringing it out here that you're like uh, I don't know we should it's do this. It's an uncomfortable topic. That's, okay, that's my point. Anyway, I'm not blowing you off when I say anyway, but yes, mm-hmm. I'm acknowledging you. I thought it was okay, and then I slept on it. And I woke up at 3 a.m. and I'm like, holy moly, that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, it's that kind of thing where. Yeah, because it's. It's almost like the stuff I did yesterday, like in the evening yesterday. Highly emotional. Yeah, it is. What am I talking about? What are we talking about? We are talking about two dog abuse incidents. I'm going to call him a kid, youngster, teenager, young adult. No, uh, evidently he's not too much of an adult, love. Well, uh, 15 years old in Louisiana, and then the other. Um, a professional dog trainer, if you want to use the word professional, attached to him in um, Pink Hill, North Carolina. I'll just say what I saw is horrible. Um, it disturbed me. Um, it was horrible and disturbed me. And I, I think if I witnessed it, everybody always says, hey, like you, we. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Everybody always says things. Oh, I would do this and I would do that. I, I'm going to say that I would react like that. I hope that I would react like that if that was in my midst. See, that that right there is a really good question about who, like a bunch, a bunch of, amongst a bunch of brothers, bros, oh, would not, not someone like, have not really like real brothers, said something? Not like real brothers, but bros together. Yeah, bros. Well, would someone have stepped up and said, hey, so don't do that. In the in the youngster's case, they were his friends, and evidently they all got arrested. The whole, the whole lot yeah. of them. Yeah. The whole it's lot crazy. got arrested. In the professional case, I'm going to assume... I don't know if he was paid, an employee, or compensated, but the person that's out in the field, which appears to be these, I guess, let's rewind a second. There, there's plenty of these videos, and it's what we talked about last time. And if I, I, There's a couple people that I talked to said they didn't know that this happened. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know how. Should we turn the lights on? Nope. It just got dark all Add of a sudden because of these clouds. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I, I assume, you know, I know what happens when you assume. But, man, somebody is listening to this, I bet you at least – 80 percent of the of the people that are listening have got to see, know about this a little bit seen a video here or there the videos are disturbing well i mean not to say if if you're into waterfowl hunting you're into dogs it doesn't necessarily That's go true. hand in hand right yeah but it's it's very similar worlds and sp- yeah, specifically on, specifically on social media they all they all some of that stuff runs together yeah right so anyway where i'm trying to go with this is i'm sure somebody's already seen these things 
the three youngsters, evidently, three of them at least got arrested. And in the, the professional, oh, so yes, professional. I, my knowledge of how I in the past how I've dog trained with other with other pros, somebody's either there to help, basically help the pro train his dogs, and then you, me, get to run our dogs on that pro setup, mm -hmm. and or they're a straight up paid bird boy or girl, and those people were his employees. So for them to take the video, I'm sure that they just watched these dogs get the shit beat out of them. And I'm, I'm sure that they're probably have a little bit of, uh, maybe, maybe not everybody, but I'm, I'm sure that they would definitely be concerned. In my mind, they'd be concerned. Maybe they're not concerned, but they would be well, they fearful. Well, enough to take a video. No, no, I mean a repercussion. I'm sorry. Yeah, what happened? I whacked my mic. Yeah. The repercussions of if they came forward with it and were, no, stop, made an issue with him at that moment, right? But it was, it was, it was either, well, for whatever reason, they took the time it, whatever the emotion was it sparked in them mm -hmm. they took the time to film it i wonder if they Video anticipated it. it if they'd seen Could it be. you know oh, time a, and time again like they were just like i'm gonna get it this time yeah it's got to be his daily daily mode of uh what, what i showed you that little clip of his own where like in his kennel there was there was not a sound and how many there's like 15 16 18 dogs lined up yeah, all sitting was. on stuff and they weren't they didn't say a freaking word yeah yeah. So they they feared him, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, not I'm not an expert in animal behavior, but I could definitely read on some of those dogs. They sat there out of fear. Nobody was wagging their tails except for one of them. It kind of was like sort of wagging. Yeah. <laughs> it's it was just, kind of sad, and I just it's just fucked up. It's all about my own dog being in that position, and I certainly wouldn't be happy about it. All right. So again, I I would. I would hope if I saw that, and, and at my age, my current age, I would definitely, I would, I would, I would take some action, some act. Oh, and or I'm not going to be a part of whatever's going on here. This is this is this is fucked up. This yeah. is bad, really bad. Not just to say bad. This is really bad. This is horrible. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm done with this. Like you're, you know, train your. Well, if you call this dog training, have at it, buddy. I'm out of here. I don't, you know, I don't know. Stick up for that pooch. Well, that's, but like, I don't know. All right, this is so. This is going to get off topic, and we're and we're going to be. This is going to be like the last one. Okay. I, I really don't want to talk. I, I wanted to acknowledge what I saw, what you and I saw. It was horrible and sickening, and I can't imagine doing that to an, uh, an animal. No. Right. Okay. No. Wouldn't be with you. So the day that. It, we the the evening into the morning that we saw both of these kind of things kind of kind of it came out at one time and we did say that and we agree that if it were not for social media like we would not know this more more than likely no. right mm -mm. good and, and or um yeah all right and or i guess just technology where we're at today with technology the phones i can think back you know with with coot diamond d3 tv all that stuff we did man i i took still pictures because that was you know we didn't have i can i can remember the iphone 3 probably was like 2006 maybe 2005 2006 hmm. that was iphone 3 and that was the first iphone that i had hmm. and yeah you could take video a flip phone you could take video too but the iphone def definitely uh stepped up everybody's uh, photography, videography, your skills, yep. neat, you know, and, and uh, well, just what we get, and then it's quick, it's quick and easy, just to click it and text it, share it, on and on and on. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm really getting off my topic. What I want to come back to is that we saw the videos the first night. The next morning, I went and dog trained, and I came back, and I told you that I feel ill, and you're like, "What's wrong? Like, what happened? Are you, are you okay? Did you say, am I okay?" Yeah, something like that. And I, I said, no, 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 I used the wrong word. I'm sorry. I'm not ill. I feel icky. Because the stuff that I just witnessed, not, not, not the punching of the head so much, the kids, but the professional dog trainer. Because I've been, man, everybody likes to refer to it as the game. So I guess I was, I, my first taste of the game would have been 
in 2002-2003. The game. Uh, Hunt Test Field Trials. Ah. I'm sorry. It's good you did that. So maybe other people are saying the same thing. What are you talking about? The yeah. game. But everybody, you know, current day, everybody refers to it as the game. You know, when did you get hooked in the game? Hmm. Or, okay. You know, the game. The game of running dogs. Training dogs, running dogs. A lot of people train dogs. Competitive dogs. So, and a lot, you know, many of those dogs get, do other people are just training dogs because they want to train dogs. Like, I would, I would assume that all those dogs that we, the kennel shot, you know, some are just there for obedience. Some are there just for gun dog needs. They're not going to run hunt tests or field trials. Right? Not, not, that's not everybody's goal, which I understand that. Mm-hmm. Goal one. But they want a trained dog. Let me turn yours off again. No. Well, I did. Um, so that said, now I lost my train of thought, especially those big clouds up there I'm watching. They're just blowing right through. We're really supposed to get some. Chew it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Are you done? Yeah. All right. We're I have really nothing sp- to say. I'm just listening. So it's five o'clock. We're really supposed to get, uh, we're really supposed to get some. Uh, Good rain, hopefully. Yeah, uh, six o'clock on. We and we have the hurricane coming up. Okay, go back to what you were doing. <laughs> I felt icky, and what the, it sends again, like the game. Uh, you know, I'm far from a, a. Well, I may be seasoned as far as age goes, but and I, I feel like I learn something almost every day. Yeah. I listen to something, watch something. I feel like I learned something related to dog. You. Yeah, yeah, related to dog training, which I try to apply to Scoter and the puppies. I had to take. A, I had to take. A, I had to take a thought. Yeah, twenty-two things running in my mind right now. Okay, missed a phone call, getting text messages. I gotta just decompress. So yes, I'm 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 seasoned as far as age goes, but my ability level, I you know I don't know. I'm kind of I'm somewhere floating in the middle. I would hope to be above the average, but I'm definitely definitely floating in the middle. So that said, yes, I felt icky, and then it just I thought about over the years of how I dog trained the people that I was around that we dog trained, and it made me question like the the whole abuse thing from. Oh, and I forgot to mention the North Carolina situation. Uh, Eleven counts, nine are felony dog charges, and mm-hmm. two are misdemeanors because it was a different county of something, mm-hmm. something like that. But it's like, it's is is it subjective or objective? Subjective, right? Subjective. Yeah, like if you read the charges, you know, um, I can't remember how, exactly how it says, but basically said, um, you know, did it too long. Well, what's too long? Mm-hmm. What's too short? Yeah. What's too much? What's not enough? Right? Yeah. And it made me think of there's we did the videos right as I looked to my right where we back in um, March we we're doing back to Powell Scoter and there's people giving me grief about like could we put another collar on the dog? Yeah. Right? You know, they're being dinks about it, but you know, yes, I had a pinch collar, had the rope, had a electric collar, you know, and they were like that I was you know, they're giving me some grief over it. I don't mm-hmm. want to say I was taking heat cuz I don't really feel like I, I take heat from anybody. <laughs> I don't. I mean, okay. All right. Well, maybe that's maybe it's my arrogance, but I really don't feel like I take heat from anybody. You do you. I'm trying to do me though. <laughs> <laughs> but sincerely, it made me think about my actions. But again, and my actions is to how somebody would judge me. So let's, you know, there's current day, back in the day, man, we didn't have, we didn't have any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, So Coot, Coot was Coot and Diamond, Poacher, that was like, again, like 2002, 3, 4, 5, and what did I say? 2005, 2006 was was the first iPhone, iPhone, somewhere, iPhone 3 was in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we just didn't have, we didn't have those capabilities of always taking, you know, taking video. But it did make me think. And then... This all stems around freaking social media. And then on Facebook, some of the retriever groups, they brought up, well, you know, it's all, it's a topic, you know, people, and it kind of, even amongst dog people, it seemed to be, seemed to be kind of like divided. Mm. Maybe not 50 50, but there was definitely a division of, you know, people saying it's horrible, which it was. 
And then other people saying like, well, like, how do you train your dog? Like, mm. you know, how, how yeah, do you they, train? They right? knew what they knew. Right. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, in 20 some years, what, what I witnessed and the mode of training then and current day now, I've love, we've been out of the game for a little while. Yeah, well, yes, I would say you. But uh, well, I was kind of being, I didn't do air yeah. quotes, but, you know, <laughs> out of the game for a little while. Mm-hmm. And things have definitely changed. Mm. Um, I've said this before. You I would know, say thanks to social media. I don't know. Well, all the stuff that you're watching on YouTube and everything. That well, yes, it? but like, but why did, why did people start doing that? I don't know, because people want to learn. No, 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 no. Why did the why did tactics change? Why did why did techniques change? I think it's like I, science in general, like it's always evolving. Okay. What I'm obviously not saying what you want me to say. I don't know. But yeah, it was kind of dismissing. Okay. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, I don't know. I where I, I don't want really, where I was going to go with it is again since the puppies were whelped late February, especially those early mornings laying laying on the whole hard floor in there for three weeks. <laughs> I'd, I would get up and I'd just watch as much on YouTube as I could, right? On dog training, excuse me, so everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, Freddie King, you know, bought into his program, watching all his puppy stuff, just like over and over and over and over and over. Podcasts, anything I could listen to, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to absorb, try to absorb, try to absorb. And so back to social media, the thing throughout there would you want an unedited video of you training your dog be made public and you want me to be honest mm-hmm. that's my famous line to you love yeah I, I I would not much like well I, I made our own video right over here I made it public and and that's that's what I got right mm-hmm. so no I if you put a pinch collar on a dog which mm-hmm. I am maybe you can judge me for this if you're listening or those who are listening can judge me, but I, I have no issues putting a pinch collar on a dog. I think a pinch collar is more humane and safe than a choker. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that's why I like pinch collars versus chokers. Well, you show somebody a choke, you show the wrong person or the right person a, a pinch collar, mm-hmm. and they will think you are the f- freaking the, yeah, the torturer. Yeah. yeah. Call Peter. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So that's when I said I would not want. A unedited version of me training. I would not. I would not want. I wouldn't want that to be public, like to the hundred percent open world public. Dog training people. Yeah, they understand that's what you do. Well, I I follow um, dog trainers outside of like um, waterfowl okay. dogs, and there's you know the, there is a debate in there, but you know plenty of dog trainers. You know there was a, a video specifically on putting pinch collars on puppies for leash training initially and they gave he gave this particular guy gave exactly the same reasons that you do because it's a much safer and it gets a better response than it does for a choke yeah it may not look that with all the the prongs mm-hmm. right right the double prong at each each section of it mm-hmm. but it, yeah you, you can't the dog could never if it's if it's adjusted correctly mm-hmm. the dog can never choke itself yeah choke itself out a choker choker the wonder lead, all those things. Yeah, sip you can, leashes. You, like you could kill the dog. Yeah. To the nth degree, you could kill the dog, yep. right? Yep. So that to me is unsafe where everybody would, else. You know, again, the right or wrong people see a pinch collar and they're going to say, you know, you're you're just, you're an abuser, right? So again, it gets back to that ob- objective of like, well, what's abuse? Yeah. What I witnessed was abuse. 100%. Yeah. No right? doubt. But... I, again, like it, it again, the, the other day made me think of when that, that question of like, w- would you want somebody to see your unedited video or your unedited training practices? And no, I would not. First off, because, because like in, in, in the, in the circle of, in, you in, know, people that train dogs, sure. People that train right. retrievers. Yeah. But you're people talk- are doing what we do. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm sorry. You're specifically talking about putting it on social media for it's open to the public. Yeah. No. Fuck no. Yeah. No. It's just like those videos. Yeah. But otherwise you would. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Cause I'm not doing anything in my mind. I'm not doing anything. It's not unfair to the dog. No. And, and again, I always said is you, you do what you need to do with Skoda as long as she enjoys it. And that, isn't a time when that little dog 
enjoys what she does. The other day we did a. I'm going to reel me back in, Sorry. but this I have to tell the story. Got you off track. No, no, no. Because this is this is what this is this is a good example of that. I think a, a big water blind. It's a water blind that I've run with her with a white bucket in the very similar mm-hmm. in the past. So it was a very similar concept. I had a lot of issue getting her in the. It was an angled entry, so I had issue getting her. When I say issue, cast to get her into into the water where I wanted her to. And once she started trucking on down, the, the, there was this island and the, and the shore, and there was this little channel that had to be like 250 yards out. And she took it and I just let her go. And she was way, way, and I just, in my, so I'm training. I'm not running, I'm not, it's not a test. I'm not running that blind. as a, It's a training blind. Mm-hmm. So she, she took my cast, though, and went down the channel, and she ended up left of the, the pole. Uh, I think we, we we had ducks there, left of the pole where ducks were, Mallard. And she was way left of it, maybe 30 yards. But I did, like, she, she took my cast off the, off the island and went down the channel, and I'm just happy as can be. Set her down, blew the whistle when she got out of the water. She's down there. She's done, done all, this, all this stuff. Did not, I don't think I put any collar pressure on her. And she's down there, and you can see. You can see her just tail just wagging and Bill standing next to me. He's like, he's like, look at her tail. Like you could see it at the distance, and she's just down there wagging her tail, happy. And I just, I, I gave her, I gave her a big, you know, over and and you know, I, I think honestly, she saw the birds were in heavy cover. She saw, you know, she saw the pole and whatever and got it. But yeah, like she, she truly does love and enjoys it. You know, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I, 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 the the things that have changed, I think. Not I think I. This is what I think. No, I said think twice. This is what's changed. Instead of it seemed like when I trained back in the day, everything was more of a test test scenario. Like we're testing the dogs versus that's you know, in, to use a different word, training the dogs. And again, if the dogs trained understands the concept, like and they're not they're not obeying you, then I I don't have any issue putting a correction on. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to pull the dog. I'm not going to pull Scoter back to me, hold her by the collar, freaking fry her, and then take a crop and just beat the shit out of her. No. Or pick her up and slam her no. to the ground. It teaches right? nothing. And and even even if it thought you thought it would teach something, don't bloody do it, because that's just straight up abuse. Evidently, nine count felony counts and two misdemeanor yeah. counts, right? Yeah, you never handle an animal like that. Yeah. Well, it definitely. It definitely made again to, to rewind where we started this the last time. I came home from training and I felt icky, and icky in the sense of well, icky in the sense of just questioning myself. And I just felt I just felt off about dog training. Mm. The, the, that aspect of dog training. It made you think. Yeah, it did. It did, and I'm hoping that it will. It stays with me. Which I think it will, mm-hmm. at least for the foreseeable future, because this is going to be we're just we're going to start hunt test here shortly, mm-hmm. in about five weeks, and I'm sure that that's going to be at hunt test. This is going to be a big topic when everybody's I sitting around so. the galley and, and their trucks and all. This is going to be a big topic, so I think this will stick around with me for a while. Um, but ultimately, man, I, I want the best dog. I want I do want her trained, and I want them trained the puppies, but like I I want them to love what we do. Yeah. Yep. And you know, and yes, is 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 there pressure needed to be applied? One hundred percent. But pressure can just be. I love yelling. Do I not? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at a hundred yards, when Scooter won't get in the water, and I yell, "No here, here, no here." Yeah. yeah. There's no collar in that. And I even turn around when people when I do that. I was like, I didn't use the collar. <laughs> right. It's like you I want to hold it by yeah, the antenna. I didn't use the collar. I didn't use it. <laughs> Sincerely, I like yelling. I didn't use the collar on her just now. Because that's what I'm sure everybody's saying, what the, f- man, this dude's going off. No, yeah. I'm just yelling at her. Yeah. I want her, you know, I want it, I want that, I guess, I guess I want that. Attention grabber. Yeah, to be my voice, not necessarily a collar or a mm-hmm. crop or a pinch collar or anything else that we use. I want her, when... When she doesn't have nothing, when I have really have no way to, to correct her, mm-hmm. I want her how that how my tone of my voice is that mm-hmm. she understands. Ooh. Oh, Dookie. 
Now he's reverse sneezing. <laughs> no, he's good. All right. Um, yeah, no, I, I think if you can do a voice correction of anything else, that's the best. Yeah. All right, love. This is the Pitballs Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporty Goods. Fuel your adventure at mymollys.com. M Y M O L L Y S dot com. It's going to be here very, very soon, very fast. Their anniversary, anniversary I'll slow down. Their anniversary sale weekend mm-hmm. is going to be September 20, 21, and 22. In my recollection, that's it's actually a weekend earlier than what it normally is. But it's Molly's anniversary sale weekend. Uh, all kinds of big deals, savings, on and on and on. Um, and if you're not in the vicinity that you can drive to Molly's, you're definitely going to be able to get online and take advantage of the savings. They'll even do things where they have free shipping over a certain dollar amount. But um, we, we will talk about this as we get closer to the anniversary sale weekend. Next uh, month. It is, oh, don't say that. Don't scare me. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool, some of these, this, this second group of teal. Mm-hmm. I thought it'd be cool if I could. T- I think I could. I think I could pull it off in the shade. If it's sunny, I can't do it in the sun. But to uh, be able to sit there and paint, paint the teal, mm, or do cool. something decoy related. I know that they're trying to have their that weekend grow. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Cedar Swamp gun and decoys. Nick Castiglione. Nick will be there. He's okay. going to be there. I want to try to catch up with Joey Jobs and see if we can get Joey to get there. Cool. Out of Harry Grace. Uh, but yes, my, I'm sorry, rambling. MyMollies.com. M Y M O L L Y S.com. Fuel your adventure. Fuel your adventure at Molly's. Thank you, everyone at Molly's Place. Up next, love. I finally got my cold crabs last week. You did. They were awesome crabs ago. We love you. We had some really good shrimp, too. But man, I've been wanting cold crabs forever. Yeah. It took me to. I don't End know. of July. Yeah, to get, get to get my cold crabs, so they yeah. were very good, and they were almost. We didn't eat. It was just a dozen, but the second we we did the first half, and then we let them sit and revisit them, and and they were actually, I think they were better. Better. Yeah, maybe it's just yeah. happened to be the crabs. You know, which crabs were which crabs? Yep. But I, did you drink good? Yeah. You For need another s- sip or two. Okay. Salute, love. I didn't salute you before when Cheers. we started this. I love you. There. If you're watching on YouTube or Rumble. <laughs> Mine fell off. Molly's. My sticker. Yeah. Mm. Crabs to go. Cold crabs finally. It was awesome. Crabs to go is easily, in the shrimp too, crabs to go is easily found on routes 50 and route 589 in West Ocean City slash Berlin, Maryland. Very, right next to the casino. So. Yep. We thank our good friends at crabs to go. Up next, they had a great weekend. At the Delta Waterfowl Expo, it is the ultimate outdoor oven, the Duck Blind Bistro. Can't wait to get fire back up in the boat. Gam is home, and we just haven't gotten into the mode yet of no, making biscuits. How can you not eat one? Well, and that's what I was going to say. I'm like, I'm. You know, that was a topic of discussion this morning in our little debrief before before we left drinking coffee. What? You know, I am down. I am down. Wait, but like, man, I, I'm I'm really trying to. I want to be good as I look at these four pretzels and the crown royal. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, just man, to eat biscuits like they're, oh, no. and they're Stop. so good. They're so good in the in the ultimate outdoor oven because mm-hmm. each side kind of it cooks simultaneously, yeah, evenly. Cook on both sides. But we need to we need to do it, do it for game. We have not fired up the duck blind bistro, but um, they will be aboard the world's largest duck boat in October. So, mm. duckblindbistro.com. The ultimate outdoor oven. Duck Blind Bistro, thank you very much. And speaking of the world's largest duck boat, Steve Hoover, New Philadelphia, Ohio, Uh, duckwaterboats.com. I was in the duck boat yesterday or the day before. Yeah, that would have been a strange feeling, huh? Yeah, it was. I I was barefooted, too. Climbed up in there. The last two times I climbed up in there, the the Danforth anchor, fluke-style anchor that's on on the back deck, I've almost hit my toe, and I, and I this, the last time. So this time I'm climbing up in there. I was like, okay, I got to be careful the anchor. Damn, if I'm, I, I, I was like, I mean, like oh, millimeter away. Like it, it touched me, but it didn't oh. hurt me. Anyway, the world's largest duck boat, duck water boats punishing docks and rocks. Steve Hoover, New Philadelphia, Ohio. Thank you very much. Up next, love. 
Gunner Kennels. Gunner.com. Man's best kennel, man's best bumper, which we have been using daily. Uh, and the 2.0 fan mm. has worked out very well. Even when, like, so today, we have six six crates, six gunners, excuse me, six kennels. In the Ford Transit Trail. In the T350. Mm-hmm. Which is a one ton and a four wheel drive vehicle. It's not a four wheel drive. It is four wheel drive, though. It's four wheel drive. It's four wheel drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scoters first, then Duke. They're in the Susquehanna series, and then the four blacks that are stacked in the back. Um, only proof went with us today, but I turned all the fans on the back four. Just, just so flow. it kind of, yeah, just yep. kind of keeps, kind of keeps that air flowing. So, um, but yes, we, 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 we love our gunner kennels. Mm-hmm. Um, and we don't know what the new Flyway series color is going to be this year, mm. which is kind of the, the carrot that's dangled out there, but it's going to be released very soon. But okay. we appreciate everyone at Gunner. Gunner.com, Gunner Kennels, man's best kennel. You know, Speak. talking about Gunner real quick. Yeah, I'm going to eat a present. And I think I, I mentioned something to you when, when uh, the chat was happening, but I'm on a Facebook group for uh, Ford Transit Trail Conversions. But the discussion was um, about putting your dog kennel in the in the uh, back in the transit. Right. And, um, well before I was able to chime in, someone had already said, you know, the the best kennel out there is He's gonna really yeah nice. And this person has Westies. <laughs> mm-hmm. I checked her out. So. All right, very nice. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's not just us, uh, you know, lab uh, or you know, uh, hunting you know community that appreciates the safety of the gunner kennel but there's a little westies and other nice. little dogs people will appreciate it 100 percent. now i don't want to go off on a tangent because i need to keep going but we do have our 3m thinsulate as well as insulation as well as our three yes, th- yes as I well as our it. 3m glue all i'm waiting for is just this just to cool off just a little bit i'm gonna climb up there we're gonna cut that hole we're gonna get the velvet air condition in we're gonna insulate it I, I still need to call about the skinning, skinning the inside yeah. to get that coming to us. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be set up here again five weeks. Wow, uh, yeah, in the full five weeks. Um, Scooter's first test. I don't. The puppies aren't gonna be ready. I don't think. One might be. You want to do them all at the same time? It's just not gonna happen. They're on uh, their own yeah. little timeline here. I want to line them all three up and let's do it's this. It's not gonna happen. Let's do this. All right. So maybe proof will. We, we may enter proof. I don't proof, know. Proof, the size 16 flipper boy. Uh, I thought that Doug was referring to my flip flop size. No. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Did you see the picture after that I posted? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively speaking. Yeah. So I posted my hand up with, please re, re, you know, reel me back in. This is on face, yeah. Facebook? Yes. Yeah. I posted it. It's been a couple of weeks ago now. I posted up my, my hand's not small, is it? No. Well, they say that. What do they say that that size? XXLs. What well, they say that is. Yeah, well, I don't know. When you do that, when yeah. the tip of your pinky to the top of your thumb, what um, what is that? Thing. What's that representative of? Yeah. yeah. See that right there. Oh, edit. Well, I'm not editing that out. Okay. Anyway, I put my. I'm showing you my everyone my hand. Yeah. So I put my hand out. Put Bruce foot in there, and like his foot. Is big, sizable, yeah. right? So I posted that picture up, and then I think it was I think it was Brian Fry, Fry guy. <laughs> he posted up Andre the Giant holding a can of beer. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, to the um, Jason's miniature decoys, as I've sold them, we're like, mm. are the decoys? Is his hands big? Or the de- what's what's? And then he posted up the picture of Andre. So that's why yeah, yeah. Andre the Giant. If you do not pro, pro wrestle and check him out, but um, yeah, he's holding a twelve ounce can of beer, and like it looks like it's a freaking pill yeah, it looks bottle, like a, a miniature one of those yeah. little miniature yeah. soda cans. All right, uh, Gunner Kennels, Gunner, thank you very much. Up next, Turtle Box Audio. I used it today. Now I didn't use it while we were recording, but I do. I. It, it's dusty. Their claim to fame is waterproof, but it's dustproof too, and I'm I put that to test. Well, just hose her off. Well, yeah, I, I do need to dunk that thing soon. But we love Turtle Box. TurtleboxAudio.com. Live loud is their their tagline, but I really do think the ultimate Bluetooth speaker. I think it should be Turtle Box. Turtle Box Audio. Mm-hmm. TurtleboxAudio.com. Everyone at Turtle Box, thank you very much. We have the a Gen One. Way back in the day, Gen one and a half, and then the Gen two. So we have them all. The Gen one, Gen one and a half. I, when this place was still empty, when I say still empty, like you know, no 
yeah, still empty. Um, maybe framed, but nothing was really done inside. I I just I had them on each end of the on each end. Sink them up. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Didn't really have them on the hundred feet apart, but they were more like fifty-ish feet, you know, from side to side. And yeah, had them synced up, and it was it was it was nice. So, TurtleboxAudio.com. Thank you very much. Love, we enjoyed it this morning. Dirty Duck Coffee, Pit Bosses, Duck Boat Dark. I know they had a great... They've been like nonstop doing shows. But they were also at the Delta Waterfowl Expo, which I've not talked to Jared Buck, but it looks like they, they did. They had a good weekend. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, our supply's actually getting low. I know. I was Not thinking about bag. what... And, and when we... So, should we go five-pound bags? Probably. That's what I was thinking. I mean, the... the what are they? 12 or 16-ounce bags? I, I should I know. know. I think they're 12 ounce bags. Anyway, they're cool because they have our logo on it. Um, whereas the big ones... Your big old face. Yeah, the, yeah my, I was I was thinking more of this, this, <laughs> the Skoda head, but yeah, my big old face is on the backside, which I don't have my Yeti. The, my, was my blue one, which does have the decal yeah, on it, but anyway, it's all, it's all good. Yes, Dirty Duck Coffee. Uh, if you use the code PITBOSS10 at checkout for your entire order, not just the Duck Boat Dark, you get 10% off. So check them out, Duck, Dirty Duck, Dirty Duck, DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Uh, I think the way that the season falls this year, the Eastern Weekend, Eastern Waterfowl Show Weekend, which they were at last year, duck season was open, but this year, I've said it before, but that, that looks really dark over there, though. With leap year, we need rain. With leap year, um, it just kind of pushed everything back, so duck season is not going to be open during the Eastern Waterfowl Festival, so I, we're not, I'm not going to get them back on board this year. Definitely, if they're there, we'll definitely hang out, but I said definitely twice. I hate when I do that. And when I say anything twice like that, it just bothers me. I'm looking at Minnie Me. Look at him. A oh, big one and a little one. Dookie and Delilah. Yeah. We'll, we'll get on that in a minute. Oh, my land to love. Have we covered everyone? I think so. I think that we have. Except for, as I look down over there, Whaley Wagon Wagontails. Yes. Yes. We've been having... Um, a bit of a last uh, end of summer surge with some um, with some campers. So, yeah, they've been uh, and and the repeats, which I love, are my repeat boarders. That's the best because they kind of know us, we know them, and and you know what? The best part is when they pull up, they let them out, they run in, and and I've actually got some smilers. Um, I, I was going to say when when the owners show up and like the dogs don't really, they're not that like they just lay down like not really want to leave yeah 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 that's yeah kind of yeah it's reassuring that we're doing the right thing by them but delilah came in smiling i got olive to my right that's our third it's our third time this summer yeah, and yeah. yeah delilah's to my left i was i wasn't sure we weren't with her age we weren't sure we were, we just didn't know we hadn't heard from them right and um yeah i was excited that she she got to come back so. yep for sure yep. yep city girl um olive is uh it's definitely enjoying the dirt and the grass for sure. She, she there lives in, in New York City, Manhattan Island. Yeah, yeah. She just gets out there and it kind of yeah, not like rolls around in in junk. No, no. The grass, yeah, just enjoys herself. Because this morning I I didn't I don't want to break off too much, but this morning I didn't tell you. Uh, proof was like he was finding lots of goose poop today, <laughs> which normally but, he does. Would normally he doesn't. He was like I was like, come on, dude, stop. For it. Yeah. yeah, stop. Don't do this. All right, Whaley on its way. Whaleyville Wagon Tails. Yeah. All right, that's good. And, and, and we are full for this coming season, the 2024-25 season, but the 2025-26 season, the calendar mm-hmm. from, the calendar for, is for Maryland Sea Ducks is open. Pitboss Waterfowl. Pitbosswaterfowl.com. So. Jeff is in crunch time to yeah. get these decoys done, to get love- everything ready before his season starts. So oh. we've been kind of talking about... Am I going to be his answering service? Mm. So he stops getting distracted, as any regular listeners uh, listeners understand. Jeff can get a little distracted, just like today. Yeah, it took me a while to kick it in gear because all the stuff, all my list of stuff, I had to do. But I'm really happy. I'm going to come back and, and acknowledge that. But I was so happy with myself today. I got a clipboard and a pad, and now I can take notes when I'm sitting out there. Okay. So I won't I necessarily forget stuff. So if something gets said, I'll write it down. Mm-hmm. Even if I don't do it that minute, and it will come back to me. Yeah. But yes, uh, the other day was just like I told you. I was like, man, would it just? I think it would just be easier. 
I, I don't want you to have my phone. No. Not that there's anything on my phone you can't see, but no. like I want I want I want to be able to use the podcast. I want to be able to use it. Yeah, we'll do you know live broadcast or whatever. But you know. Yeah, but like I don't want to answer it. Yeah, just so like to, if, to forward your calls. Yeah. You know why? So you you can remain focused on getting done what you need to get done, and then you can. Yep. Come in, sit down, and focus on replying to people. Yep, you you uh, write down whatever it whatever the mm-hmm. whoever call, whomever calls, write mm-hmm. it down, and you know six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight. No, not eight o'clock. Six six seven o'clock. Call back and just re- yeah touch touch base with them, reconnect. So yeah, but yeah, I thought it would maybe help me just be a little bit. We more, should give it a try. More productive. Especially, maybe I could be more helpful to people. Especially you could, especially <laughs> do especially during the week. Weekends. Don't ask me hunting questions. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know, I, I, I know I'm gonna get bombarded. No, deluged. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that the correct word? Possibly. I don't know what you're trying to say. But deluged. When you get over, you know, a deluge. Deluge. Say that again, so I can. Deluge. Deluge. That's what I said. Now deluge. it sounds weird. I have no idea what you're. No, nah, I think to say. that's what I said. Anyway, I'm gonna get. So I'm full, and I'm going to get all these people say like it's not even we're not even into September yet, yeah. and somebody goes, "Hey, let's well, let's go let's go hunt let's go hunt." And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I'm sorry, I'm full. Yeah, I guess it's a good problem to have for me. Maybe not for them, but yeah, definitely a good. I mean, and a lot of I'm, I don't say a lot, but you definitely get some repeat. You know. Yeah, I think the customers. repeats are. I think the repeats are more in tune with that. So that's not you know that's I had somebody today uh, has a early december date and he's like hey man like could we it's on wednesday could we get tuesday or thursday i'm like full sorry mm. so if it changes for sure but like yeah so well i'm sure you'll make every day count for however however long that you know they're gonna be with you yes so this is uh i, I think i mentioned this early er that we have our first it's actually gonna be a hurricane Oh, this, for a short yeah. period of time. Well, be like, not for us, but it, well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's, it, it it will be classified as a cur- hit, hurricane. Hit Florida as a hurricane. Yeah, kind of the panhandle, and then come up through. But man, I just I hope if I could if I could you know dial up anything or wish anything, I just hope that the the winds are just as mild as can be. The um, I don't want to say it's a controversy, but the white marlin kicks off here shortly, mm-hmm. and because of this white, mar- white, white marlin, marlin open, open fishing you. tournament, excuse Thank me, you. it's the richest bill fishing tournament in the world. Love, see that's why you're in here. Ocean City, Maryland, Ocean, it, it, which is the white marlin capital of the world. Yeah, yeah. How that came about, don't know. Well, they're going to have a, a fishing tournament that last year was worth over ten million dollars total purse, and I guess, well, you know, they don't know, won't know till tonight. Tonight, I guess. Whenever the entry closed, which is uh, the, not tonight, okay. they'll know what the total pr- pr- uh, purse is, and I guess it's got to be, it'll be over $11 million, I guess. But what they were concerned about was, is that the storm's coming up the coast, mm-hmm. windy, 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 and so the old rules, the normal rules are, you can, out of five days, Monday through Friday, you can fish three. You can't mm-hmm. fish any, you, you, don't, you can fish one or two, mm-hmm. but you can't fish more than three days out of the five. So this year... They said you, they opened up Saturday also, so that that you can fish three of six days, and little little grumblings griping around that basically the only reason they did this. Well, one of the reasons, the main reason that they did this, is that all the little boat because of the weather, because the, uh, hurricanes minute, coming up, yeah, because of that, and that the ocean is going to be rough, that small boats we're not going to enter the tournament and they would lose money. Mm. So kind of, and people are griping about it. I was like, Hey man, like we, <laughs> this is, it's been this way for 51 years. Like oh, uh, you just, just cause, cause why there hadn't been storms mm. before the water hadn't been rough before we already got our plans made. And now you're opening up an extra day. Most okay. of the comments I saw were positive that they all agreed okay. with it. All right. Um, yeah, those are people that are just sitting on the beach and another day they want to see boats coming in and out of the inlet. Maybe. Right. Or, Maybe. But, you know, again, well, it's, you know, you can never make everyone happy. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yes, decoys are going well. Busy, busy, busy. Go, go, go. Scoters training's go, coming along well. September 7th will be our first hunt test. If you can't see, <laughs> well, now that you heard that, I'm laugh- I have a smile and I'm laughing. But I don't know. Getting some, uh, I, um, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna enter. In, we're gonna enter in the master period. I and I think I must have said because somebody asked me about this. 
the first test is not a double. I thought the first test was a double senior and a master. It's not. It's a junior, senior, master. So okay. she will be entered in the senior. She would be entered in the master. And we will see what she does. Yep. That's what I said. The worst that could happen is she doesn't pass. Well, but you'll learn something from it. Yeah, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to set myself back where I create issues. That said, she truly out of there was coot. First dog, coot, black female. Second dog, diamond, black female. Third dog, poacher, black female. Fourth dog, booger, a male. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, uh, he was a lovable dog. I loved that guy. I wish he was here right now, hundred yeah. percent. But sweet dog. But he very was, very was. He very was. He very much was. The bug man. Yeah, the bug man, booger. Uh, very immature. So he kind of. I, I always tell people that he, he's the one that cured me of ever wanting a male dog. Current day, that's changed. Uh, then and then the the last dog was a um, Bristol black female Bristol. So, out of all those dogs, and maybe, you know, a different lifestyle, a, lots of variables, but nobody was really like Coot. Diamond was good. Diamond was good, but she wasn't like Coot. I, I think, uh, usually she's sitting here in this chair. That's why I turned to look. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I th- oh, she's probably on her bed right now. <laughs> yeah, she probably is. A scoter like current day with with the stuff the blinds and the things that i've been doing with her does she have the hunting experience coot has no but uh, forget about the hunting yeah man she reminds me she's small a little bit smaller than coot but she definitely kind of reminds me of her Mm -hmm. um it just doesn't she doesn't have i won't say bad days she doesn't have off days where her attitude is not good yeah now whether you know whether she does everything we're supposed to do you know does it great you know we're training so that doesn't really factor into it but what i what i really look again my example of running that big long blind big big water entry a big swim you know she's 300 yards plus away i blow the whistle and she's down there sitting her just her tail's just wagging right so she has a really great attitude and i think that um i don't know maybe you know some of this stuff too is i i know enough with coot I think with uh, I was running her in senior, AKC senior and master at the same time. She passed all four seniors. We failed three, met the first three masters we failed. And then the fourth, and I was kind of at that point where I'm like, okay, you know, I'm done this. If she doesn't, if she, and they were all close to the house. So it wasn't like it was traveling. They were all close. Mm-hmm. But if she doesn't pass this next one, I'm not running her in, in master anymore. And what do you, guess what? She passed. Mm-hmm. So then I chased, I did get her qualified for the master national that year. Her senior title as well as, I think Master National only needed to have five passes, not six at that time. That's how old or how long ago it was. But, yeah, um, again, I don't want to be that guy where push, 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 go, go, go. But, man, I don't, you know, what do I tell people, Karen? I tell people a lot of things. But, yeah, that's but the my, problem one of, I have. One of, one of my other lines is, I don't know. I'm going to be here next month, uh, but I want to be. I but say. I want. Oh, you should have said it. You should have said it. Mm-hmm. I want to be here next month, but I'm not. There's no guarantee I'm here next month, right? Nope. So. And they age too fast. They do. They get way too old, way too fast. I've I've written that. I bet you in the last week I've written that three times where people's oh. either dogs passed or they had to put them down. Regardless, their dogs aren't with them, and they get way too old, way too fast. So. Um. Yes, so that's where we're at with Scoter. She's training really, really well. Uh, this morning, I, I changed up some stuff where basically just kind of still do what I do, but I'm really going to concentrate on um, let's say let's let's say line mechanics, uh, getting out getting out of the T350. Even when I train by myself now, I'm going to put a holding blind up. I've, I've kind of it's easy to say, oh, you know, I, it won't be a problem, but I, I'm st- I've stopped that. There's a holding blind in the... In Make the, the effort. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it out. Even if she sits in there, mm-hmm. you know, I, I put her in it, tell her to kennel. She gets in there, and I, I walk back maybe five yards. We sit, you know, to, probably not as long as what I think, but it definitely probably like 15, 20 seconds. Call her out. Heal up very, very slowly to run a blind. Yeah. You've got to take one, that place board with you, too. Yep. The uh, the one blind, uh, you, you were there. Well, not really a blind. It was more of a drill. A, oh, you're empty? Yes. All right. Well, we can end this if you want. Mm-hmm. The blind drill is at 225 yards away. We run from a mount. Basically, 
it's you know if you're not familiar with the eastern shore of maryland it's basically flat especially the ag fields so well, i guess everybody's ag. yeah there's some there's some ag field like lancaster they just had the conjugal mm. flats we yeah, went up through there yeah man there's, sort of there's, ag, yeah, there's ag fields up there that yeah. are very rolling mm -hmm. but our ag fields here are very flat and so everybody not everybody but many people like to put mounds in them so you can get up 10 feet and at least eight feet and you can see the dog so at about 225 225 yards away from this mound there's a, a sand lane i put six white bumpers and i kind of i try to line her up so that she in my mind she's running to the center of them mm -hmm. so she if she drifts a little to the right fades a little to the left she's going to still be in the bumpers and um but even even doing that drill which you know it's kind of a it's kind of a cold blind but it's really just a drill because i just want her to go 225 yards without stopping yeah, when i say back. back the next thing next thing i tell her good girl tweet 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 good girl great job mm -hmm. but even even this morning that i i, I put a holding blind up and mm -hmm. you know get her out of the truck make her sit get her out of the truck you know calmly mm -hmm. then i release her let her go air she runs around like a nut then kind of get the handle back on put her in the holding blind and we we healed up healed up to the mound mm -hmm. and I, I kicked her off so um she's doing really well uh the only pup that went with us today duke went he just did duke stuff like he likes to do he almost called it mallard duck <laughs> he really did and because they, they're kind of molted and they don't fly that well mm -hmm. um and that but yeah uh proof the proof man is really he's a horse but he's really he's a mini miniature horse but he's really improving well mm -hmm. um, his, his swimming is really starting to he smooth that out and he really the obedience you've been doing with him tell him with, mm -hmm. tell him to sit like i might touch him i tell him to sit and he actually sits mm -hmm. not you know for a second or two and i but it lets me lets me get a hold of my my uh, richard barnes steady tab with the pinch collar mm -hmm. so i use the pinch collar on but i don't uh, i throw it and man I'm, I'm sending him i send him basically when it's when it when the bumpers hit in the water yeah, yeah i just do a couple of them um just to get him i'm just trying to get him swimming good so yep and he's yeah. getting there he's slowly improving i just think once he muscles up more yeah you know grows into himself he'll he'll he's gonna it won't be an issue that's a scoter dog i mean mama right. dog rob rise behind me all right love are we good to go yes did i do a better job on it this time i think so yeah we still may use that other one i don't know mm. i said some stuff in there that like i said i just wasn't comfortable with no i remember i chuckled and laughed a couple times about like what do you call maybe i should <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. you're gonna repeat it after you <laughs> just said that you know you shouldn't <laughs> jesus <laughs> i shouldn't say that either i i thought it was i thought it was cute that i couldn't i couldn't um uh, so relationship a, a male and a female and there's uh, allegations of male to female abuse but they're not married i guess fiance but like what do you, how did you refer to her, her? and mm -hmm. that's what i had trouble that's why i kind of chuckled i'm like i don't even know what to call her what do you call her like what do you call her domestic violence no 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 but the relationship how do you refer to somebody that's what i chuckled See? at and then i felt bad i was like well wait a second i just laughed at, like somebody's gonna say i, I was laughing about domestic abuse mm -hmm. i'm not i laughed about like what do you call that person mm. that's remember? in australia it's called a de facto relationship yeah 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 okay it's a de facto relationship but how how are they, how are they relative to each other what do you call that Their person partner boyfriend girlfriend um, okay partner so it's partner abuse that's what i was trying mm -hmm. to come up with like how it's not spa you and our spouse it's not mm -hmm. spousal abuse because mm -hmm. they're not they weren't married right they're engaged girlfriend slash engaged right. boyfriend girlfriend engaged it's like what is that person and when i i laughed you know i didn't laugh i chuckled like trying to come up with what yeah, like what do you call them? i don't know what you call that person right yeah so that it was that kind of stuff and i just didn't feel good about it. okay no i just gave like what i just gave the yeah because <laughs> we're not probably not going to use it so move on oh, i'm i'm this is this is going in and going in and going out okay. just as is all right yikes <laughs> yikes about what i'll talk to you later about it oh my goodness oh my lanta <laughs> Are we done yes all right it's been i don't know it's been a good while pushing six that's getting dark i'm hungry we doing steaks tonight I think so. we are doing ribeyes on cam chef woodwind pro 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw some uh, lump lump coal in there too to get that thing. We, and we, then thick, like yeah. an inch thick. Yep, yep, yep. So yum. they need to be good. I, we're going to use Pete's damn good steak rub. Probably. Okay, good. I'm really Pete's enjoying that steak. right now. Yeah, we are. Um, he texted me the other day. I showed the bottle. He's like, that stuff looks looks old. I was like, well, I don't. It still tastes good. Yeah, we kind of we, we've had a few different things. We it kind of cycles through it, right? Like yeah. the you know flavors of the month and what what kind of takes your fancy. But right now, it's peas. We did that spatchcock chicken the other night, and you you said it. It's going to be like pork. It was the smoked was maple something. Yeah, rather. the cormac smoked maple rub, but, yeah. which I would use that on on ribs. Yeah, and you know. It's chicken, but I thought it was still damn good. It was really good. I think you could put Pete's damn good steak rub on the chicken, and that would turn out good. We'll try that next. Yeah. But I use a lot, and I probably will not have enough. Mm. Oh, got copy. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to say anything to you the other day, because I'm letting you, I'm letting you, you do you. Yeah. To, to quote you. Because it's been good. You do. Yeah, but why'd you, why'd you, like, you poured a half a jar on the bottom side? Because it, it. It filters into Love. the meat. But if you're pushing down, which it's laying down, the shit's falling out of it, not like going hey, up into it. That's what the fellas said on on that that what's the, that what's that guy's name with the big sausage fingers? <laughs> I don't know, Love. That's I don't know what who, he said. I, I have no idea who you're referring to. Okay. All right, we done. Yes, this, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get you out. All right, because I am not cutting this up. This is going in straight. Okay, go. So it can be up tomorrow. Uh, all right. Cheers, love. Salute. I love you, Karen. I'm glad thank, we made it through this Thank one. you very much. Anybody that's still listening, we appreciate you listening on YouTube, Rumble, or any of the other major platforms. All right. This is the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. Thanking of you, we are. Boom. Cheers. Bless. Cheers, Les. Mm. I don't have any. Mm.